What's going on, fam? This is where you at, bro. Here to bring to you another smashing workout. And today, we're doing chest and back. And yes, this is still part of Kai Green's bulk mass program. So let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so let's get right into this thing. For the first movement, we're doing incline press. All right, let's get it. Good job, good job on hitting those four sets. Yes, four sets of incline bench press. Now, we're moving on to one of my not so favorite, but will be favorite movement, which is chest dip. Oh yeah, let's go. been following me on this workout program you already know dips I do not like them why because they are so hard for me to do but like I always tell you that doesn't mean I'm not gonna do the movement I'm gonna do it and then on top of that I'm going to master it because again that is a awesome movement for your chest and I'm trying to get in gains I'm not trying to leave nothing on the table well, I tell you, I am exhausted from that one movement. But anyway, moving on to the next one. The next one is incline dumbbell flies. Now, I was a little against this one um, for a while, and I've been doing the, uh, can't think of the movie right now, but I'll probably leave it in the description in regards to what the name is because our mind is not there from my last movement. But I wasn't doing incline dumbbell flies. So I'm going to try it again because it's actually part of this program that Kai Wynn created. So I'm going to try it today and see how I feel after it, you know. So if I'm getting a good pump from it, then I'll add it back to my arsenal of movements to do. But as of right now, it's not really on my like to do, but I'm going to try it and see what occurs in regards to it. All right, so let's go ahead and hit this incline dumbbell flies. <clears throat> I know I said I won't be talking a lot, you know, as far as when we're doing this whole thing, but I think I feel, feel the need to actually say something in regards to this movie. Now, one of the key things in doing this one, we have the dumbbells. At the top of the movement, when you're here, you want to have the idea of bringing your elbows to each other. Why I say that? Now, most people won't be able to do that because they have a chest. But if you can simulate the movement to where you're trying to bring your elbows to each other, that will get such a nice squeeze in your chest. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna fly it out, and when I get here, I'm going to squeeze and try to bring my elbows to each other. And I know from doing that, I'm gonna get a nice burn. You know, um, so try to keep that in mind. Again, core tight for stability. And then when you're at the top of the movement, give a like a one or two second pause, squeeze in that chest. That way, guys, you are, I mean, you're going for the burn in regards to when you get to that top portion of the movement. Um, one reason why, really quick, why I don't like the movement, because again, um, you're extending your arm out this way, and there's a potential of tearing 
uh, your muscle here, and I want to keep from that. So I haven't really, again, been doing it because I'm kind of afraid to do that. And also, again, I've heard different people say they don't like the move because of gravity and all the other stuff, and there's a lot of stuff that go into it. So anyway, again, at the top of the movement, you want to squeeze as if you're trying to bring your elbows to each other. Okay, let's go ahead and try that out. I have a fairly right weight here. Again, don't injure myself. It's all about the pump. All about the pump, guys. So at this part here, you want to try to squeeze your elbows to each other. Not necessarily the weight has to touch each other, but your elbows. So you don't even have to touch the weight in order to get that um, movement, in order to gauge it. So here you go. Incline dumbbell flies. Good job, all right, let's keep on going. Now we're getting ready to do one arm dumbbell row. Let's hit this one. Now we're moving on to flat dumbbell press. Now, same concept as dumbbell flies. When you get to the top of the movement, make sure you try to squeeze your elbows together in order to get a nice pump in your chest. And again, keep your core tight. Safety is key, guys. Let's go ahead and get into this one. Getting to the end of it. Now we're moving on to lat pull down. Okay, lat pull down. Let's get it.
right, guys. We're on our last movement. Man, I love to say that, last movement. Love working out, but I love to get to the last movement. So what we're doing is seated cable row, okay? Let's get it. Yes. All right, fam, so we're done with today's workout. We just hit chest and back in this Mass Bolt program by Kai Green. If you like this workout, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Also, hit the subscribe button, leave a comment, and share it with somebody else. If you're looking for more pointers on how to do each movement, check the description down below. Also, I'm going to leave a link to Kyle Green's webpage so that you can go and pick up your ebook. But other than that, this is where you at, bro. Signing out. Peace. See you in the next workout.